Well, when you sit down for a caricature, you know certain features will be highly exaggerated. <laughs> well, and that's part of the fun. When you, when you get the finished drawing, here in Minnesota, several landmarks have gotten the caricature treatment thanks to a well-known artist who's now gone nationwide. Tonight, we meet a man who gives a fresh new take on some well-worn sights as we go finding Minnesota. We all have different perceptions of how a place looks and feels. Now I'm working on this Metro Transit bus. Through the work of Michael B. Rauer, Minnesota has a decidedly fun look and feel. Our eyes are more used to seeing things in 90 degree angles and straight lines. What I want to offer is just another perspective of that, another way, another impression of how we look at things. Take Rice Park in St. Paul, for example, with its classic architecture on all sides. The buildings give Michael plenty to work with, but it's the people and their memories that he's really focused on. This is the St. Paul Vulcan crew. I just remember being a little kid and, and going to the Winter Carnival and the Vulcans would come crashing in. And as a kid, and you've never seen that before. It was quite an event. He grew up in Cottage Grove, unsure that anyone could make a living as an artist. He's now been selling his Minnesota scenes for about 15 years. This is kind of a painting where I, I put myself in there and my wife and our son. There's something that's just striking about this artwork. Micah Kiefer plans to buy about 10 of his works to hang in a local law firm. There's so much stuff happening in his artwork that um, it's just interesting. You know, we want people to stop by and look at it and like, oh, that's cool. Michael also has fans at Target Field. The Minnesota Twins commissioned a 3D piece of art that hangs in their front office. Grand Park at the uh, Buckingham Fountain. Now he's expanding beyond Minnesota, taking his comical style to cities like San Francisco, Seattle, and Las Vegas. I'm just kind of on the train and I'm just kind of traveling through, you know, and, I, and it's like I find a city that is inspiring to me and, and there's just certain bells and whistles that really turn me on to the city. He's learned you can make a living as an artist, especially when you're dealing in shared memories. You know, I have to shake my head sometimes because I'm like, uh, you know, how did, this, how did this happen to me? This is what I do and it's what I enjoy to do. Now that Rice Park scene he's working on should be ready for sale by the end of this month. Next Saturday, by the way, he'll be hosting a signing event at Mall of America at the Deck the Walls store there. For more information on that or to send me another Finding Minnesota idea, just go to WCCO.com slash links. One, like of his, one of his biggest fans is in the uh, booth right now, our producer Tracy Perlman, who mm -hmm. has five of his uh, posters hanging oh, in her cool. apartment. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's, it's great stuff.